네, 여기는 지금 사이드 프로젝트 브로어리고요. 지금 제 옆에 계신 분은 핍스의 브로어인데 Yeah, so my name is Matt Price. I'm the owner at Pips Meadery. Uh -huh. We're up in Beach Park, Illinois. I'm sure everyone knows where that is, but uh, you know, we're just excited to be here today. It's an awesome event. We're having a good time and met this fine gentleman here, so you know, just kind of chatting it up. Thanks, and I heard you are exploring your myth to Korea. Yeah, yeah so we just started doing that. So um, we had a nice gentleman, Hangul, from Vera Bottle Shop that reached out to us and he just caught us at the right time, you know? And, we do our public releases on Shopify, and we can see where everything's coming from. We see yeah, you yeah. guys uh, buying our stuff and getting it shipped out to you, and we're just trying to make it more accessible to everybody, especially our supporters. So, you know, we appreciate your support, uh -huh. and we want to get more of it in your hands when we can. Then, can you introduce the exporting lineup, like for just like one or two lines? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so we actually had three things that we sent out there. Uh, it was the higher, which is our cranberry mead, plum, which is our plum mead. Uh, both of those made with orange blossom honey, so a little bit of that citrus kind of profile that really jumps the fruit for it. And then the last one was called Obscure. Uh, it was a blueberry mead that was aged in a barrel from our friends at Top and Goliath, and it had Whoa, vanilla beans in it yeah. as well. So it was uh -huh. a fun one to do, and, and cool. we were happy to send it out there. Do I have to like drink mead at one time, or can uh, I no. save it for later? You can definitely save it till later. So our, our corks, too, they're rated for 20 plus years, so you can sit on them and just wait to pop them open. But once you pop them open, we've, we've opened some up, and they last for three or four months. It all kind of depends on how oh. much you drink. Oh yeah, yeah. You got a lot of space in there and all that oxygen's in there. It's, it's gonna be pretty quick, but if you only have an ounce or two and you can put the cork back in it and let it sit for a while. Then should I store it at like room temperature or in like fridge? You know, we typically say cellar temperature, much like any wine. Oh. So somewhere between 50, 55, 60 degrees maybe at most, but we serve a lot of our stuff at ambient room temperature. It's always good to, you know, start it off a little bit lower and then let it rise up. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.